It's bubbling around in my stomach. Like I can hear it bubbling a lot and popping and crackling. Like that is coming right through from my insides to my outsides. So maybe I'll still explode. In today's video, we're gonna see what we can do with about 10 pounds of fizzing popping candy. All right guys, ever since we started putting strange things into our cotton candy machine, we've had people requesting Pop Rocks. So today we're gonna try this out, but we figured while we're doing stuff with Pop Rocks, we might as well try out several different things. So here's the basic idea. We've had plenty of requests of things to try doing with Pop Rocks. Well, we got our hands on a bunch of these in a couple different brands, and we're gonna try out everything you requested. This is like the biggest pack of Pop Rocks I could find on Amazon. It actually came with a few more that turned into gum, but I am 100% positive that nothing with gum in it is going to work in the cotton candy machine. So we've got these set off to the side. And so we're gonna try some things with the Pop Rocks, but I wanted like a lot of Pop Rocks, and I mean, this is a good number, but every single one of these is one third of an ounce. And so, you know, it takes three of these to make one ounce, it takes 16 ounces to make a pound, so we're gonna get like maybe two pounds out of this and we wanted more than that. So I went ahead and did some research and I found another company that makes this carbonated candy. This right here is carbonated crystals made by the company Poppin' Fun. I believe this is the only manufacturer of this type of candy in the United States. And they sell four pound bags. So a lot more crystal for your buck. You don't have to get these tiny little packets. Instead, we've got big old packs and we've got them in navy blue and red. In case anyone is unfamiliar with Pop Rocks, carbonated candy in general, it's a small sugar crystal. I mean, the main ingredients are sugar and lactose. And the way they're produced involves introducing carbon dioxide into the candy at extremely high pressures. And the carbonation actually gets stuck inside the sugar crystals. And when you eat them and they dissolve, the carbonation escapes and you get fun popping sensation and sounds and that one actually just popped out of my hand i guess moisture in the air and the moisture on my hand was enough to that was fascinating we're gonna play around with that in a bit these became popular in the 1970s as a fun little candy and then they became somewhat less popular as a rumor spread that a child actor from a popular commercial had died after eating a pack of these and then drinking some Coca-Cola and, and the rumors that his stomach had expanded and popped and he had died in the hospital or something like that. Complete nonsense, he was fine, but I think we'll play around with that rumor as well. Um, so the first thing that we are gonna try is putting Pop Rocks in our cotton candy machine. If you've watched all of our cotton candy machine videos so far, I've at times explained that to work, you really have to have candy that has mainly two ingredients, sugar and corn syrup. Okay, Pop Rocks, we're gonna try grape. I'm just gonna pour this whole packet in. That scared me. I missed with a bunch of them. I hear the popping. We're actually getting something. Oh, and now I'm also seeing smoke. A little bit of smoke is coming up out of there, which does happen with non-Pop Rocks, so I'm not saying that's just because it's Pop Rocks. Let's see if this is at all grape flavored. There is like leftover cotton candy sugar in there. Hard to tell. All right, I'm gonna go green apple. That's a more distinct flavor, I think. It'll be easier to separate from the other ones. And the color should be more obvious. Let's get a taste for what these are like. That's green apple. Hey, we're getting cotton. We're getting quite a bit of something thrown onto the sides and it's green. So we know that something's not getting processed super well. All right, green fluff. It's got the green apple flavor. It tastes a little bit burned. And unfortunately there is absolutely zero sensation of popping. It just so happens that one of the flavors of Pop Rocks is cotton candy flavor. So I think it's only fair that we try making cotton candy out of cotton candy Pop Rocks. So you can actually hear it like all the carbon dioxide, I believe, starts just escaping as soon as the Pop Rocks start melting down. And so it's all gone by the time it gets into the cotton threads. Well, wow, that one produced way less than the green. Cotton candy flavor is not good for making cotton candy. Look how little that is. It just tastes like chemicals. So does Pop Rocks turn into cotton candy? Yeah, technically a little bit. 
Uh, it works way worse than just white sugar, not even cotton candy sugar, just regular sugar. I've had better results with Skittles, better results with Jolly Ranchers. Lifesavers work really well. Pretty much every variety of Lifesavers I've tried works great. I do want to try the Pop and Fun brands and see how those turn out. I haven't even opened these yet, so let's, let's see what these are like. Four pounds at a time. They also sell like a 30 pound bag. Mostly they aren't sold for like individual consumption like this. They're sold as like ingredients. You can put these into other things like chocolate and ice cream. And we may even try a little bit of that later. Wow, they weren't kidding when they said like navy blue. I and mean, it's not quite navy, but that looks like aquarium rocks. Wow, that's way more energetic too. I think because we got like the larger crystals. still just kind of tastes like slightly burnt sugar. There's no flavor added into this, so it kind of makes sense, but less chemically. And I think that's like, because we aren't burning the artificial flavors that are added to the other ones. And we did get more fluff, still absolutely no Pop Rocks sensation in the cotton candy itself. So while we got slightly better cotton candy sugar out of it, I still wouldn't recommend it because you are not getting as much yield as real cotton candy sugar. You're leaving residue from probably the lactose to be burned inside the oven. And yeah, you're spraying a ton out on the sides here. So yes, it is working. It's just not working very well. All right, well, we currently have more popping candy than I have ever seen in one place. So I think we gotta do some experiments. First, I'm gonna get these out of these bags. I need a bowl. I genuinely thought this bowl was gonna be big enough, but I, we actually still have like a cup and a half of the blue and half a cup of the red in the pouches. But uh, you know, we'll, we'll get around to using things. Ah, <sighs> that is so much carbonated candy. The famous fable is eating a pack of Pop Rocks and then drinking Coke and your stomach exploding. To test the plausibility, we're first gonna take a bottle of Coke here. I figured the bottle is a little bit more appropriate for the 1970s and get one of our retro styled packs original flavor, and I'm just gonna pour it into the bottle of Coke and see how much of a reaction we get. Hopefully, it stays contained within this bowl, which I am now going to move farther away from our large bowl of uncovered Pop Rocks. Original flavor Pop Rocks getting poured into a bottle of Coke. We'll see how many, oh, there we go. A lot of those Pop Rocks got pushed right out by the floating Coke, and now you can hear them. It's actually kind of what it just sounds like in your head when you're eating them. You just hear and feel the popping go through your whole head. It foamed a lot. I wouldn't call that a dangerous level. I am actually going to try eating the Pop Rocks and drinking some Coke, see what it does. So the hard part to me is like, how fast can you eat Pop Rocks without like chewing them up and like to get them down into your stomach? I, I'm a little confused on that. Maybe you're supposed to like put them in your mouth and then swallow the Coke to chase it, but I feel like it would just foam up in your mouth. The goal is to have it happen in your stomach. <laughs> and not swallow that quickly. All right, that's as much as I can swallow that quick. So far, I burped like once. It was really nothing interesting. So I'm gonna try putting it in my mouth and chugging the Coke after it. I can hear me. I can hear it bubbling and reacting inside my belly. It's bubbling around in my stomach. Like I can hear it bubbling a lot and popping and crackling. Like that is coming right through from my insides to my outsides. So maybe I'll still explode. Maybe it's still coming. Okay, I'm gonna take a pack of Pop Rocks and pour them into this balloon. Now I'm gonna take the whole balloon with an entire pack of Pop Rocks in it, put that over the Coke there. Now all of them made it in. There you go, you can see it. See just how much we actually get out of this. So far, it's not that much. All right, we're just gonna set this off to the side, let it do its thing, react however fast or slow it wants to react. We've got more experiments to try. When I put some of the Pop Rocks just in my hand, some of them started just popping right away. So I wanna just try taking some Pop Rocks and putting them on a plate with like a little bit of water to see how like excited and jumpy they get. Just a lot of Pop Rocks. Oh, geez. 
Some of those really went flying. Little ones, not all of them, but some of them went flying. Oh. Ow! <laughs> it shot me! That one actually flew off and hit me. Hard enough to be like, it didn't really hurt, but it wasn't comfortable. Let's try this again. I'm using the Popping Fun brand. I've actually run it through a sieve to get rid of some of the smaller ones. So we're gonna see if we get an even more energetic response with just bigger crystals here. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> they are exploding out of there. I am now covered in Pop Rocks. The camera and cameraman are covered in Pop Rock. Like it's just like stuck to my hand from being nearby. I had my phone there as a flashlight to give extra light and it's just like coated everything. It's probably on my face even, like I am just decorated. <laughs> it's such a fast reaction, that's so fun. All right, so this cup of water is basically at boiling temperature. We're just gonna pour a whole packet in, see what it does. It just like started reacting instantly. All right, we are gonna try and make some ice cream. We've done this before. We're gonna be using milk, cream, sugar, flavoring, and liquid nitrogen to make our ice cream. And I don't wanna put the Pop Rocks in early because I think that the liquid in the milk and cream will start dissolving them. So I'm gonna get it going until it's almost ready and then add the Pop Rocks, a little more liquid nitrogen, and keep it going to get it all the way frozen. I think that's gonna give us our best chance of not having it just pop everywhere. So we're gonna get some of these red, unflavored ones. I think the color is a good look. Obviously some reactions happening. You can see it going. Ooh, that's exciting. Ah, ah! <laughs> Being attacked. All right, it's ice cream and it has the carbonated crystals and pop rocks in it. I just don't know if you can actually like get the sensation as you eat it. So here goes. Yep. Yeah, it definitely does. Kinda have to let the ice cream melt away on your tongue though, but once you do, like the Pop Rocks are just still in your mouth. Well, I really enjoyed the result of pouring really hot water onto the Pop Rocks and Pop Rocks onto the really hot water. And I wanna scale that up, but I do not dare do it inside. So I'm gonna take this outside. Hey look, here's how much our balloon got. Not a ton. And then I'm gonna pour like a gallon of boiling water over all of it and just see what kind of mayhem we get. I'm gonna be so covered. Nearly, nearly, it was boiling as I took it off the stove. That was only like a minute and a half ago, so it's still extremely hot, and I'm just gonna pour it right on. This is gonna go everywhere. Ready? Three, two, one. Didn't actually spray as much as I thought it would. It's obviously reacting a lot, but it sprays the most in really shallow areas. So it did spray and I am covered. Look at my legs, Just it actually just keeps going. That's how covered I got just from it spraying out. This was a lot of fun. The boiling water thing was unexpected to me. I think it was actually maybe more entertaining in the small scale, but it still looked cool on the large scale. Very fun to try these things out. I highly recommend the carbonated crystals in ice cream if you ever make ice cream. You can check out the larger batches that we got. That's from poppingfun.com. You get the four pound bags, or I think they also have like a 30 pound bag if you are really into making ice cream. Super fun, super cool. If there's anything else you'd like to see us try with Pop Rocks, let us know. We might be down for trying some more stuff. Guys, that's it for today, but you know we always have more for you to see. Click that box up at the top to check out our most recent video, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.